Hello fam. It's me, Victoria. Did you miss me? I know you do. Winter is apparently here. And so, Boss Omar is busy with his photo shoots. So, for today's video, I will be taking over and share with you guys another amazing Photoshop plugin that you can use to make your photos look a thousand times better. Have you ever wondered why your photos look dull and lifeless? Did you wish that you can somehow make it stand out even more? Do you want to make your photos look punchier and give them that pop that you're looking for? Well, I'm here to share with you this amazing automatic glow generator plugin for Adobe Photoshop. It's called the Oniric Glow Generator, from Composite Nation, the makers of BreakGen, a Photoshop panel that automatically builds breakdowns from your Photoshop document, animating layer by layer so you can share the process behind your work, in GIF or video format. So, what can Oniric Glow Generator actually do? Well, for one, it can generate a bloom effect. It uses the inverse square law, same as real light falloff does to create very smooth light transitions. Besides the bloom effect, Oniric can also generate light streaks. With this type of glow, you can create very interesting and creative light effects to your image that you didn't think of before. You can create from lens flares and glares as well. So enough chit chat, and let me demonstrate to you how this amazing plugin works. Please note that this is just an overview and not a full length tutorial. I will post some links down on the description for some tutorial videos that you can watch later on. Okay, let's start with our first image right here. If you noticed, the fiery boxing glove doesn't look convincing. So let's try to add some glow to make it more intense and eye-catching. To open the Oniric panel, just go to Window, Extensions, and then select Oniric. And then all we have to do is click the Generate button. Wait a few seconds to process. And that's it. It has automatically detected which part of the image it will only apply and generate the glow effect. This is the before. And this is after. So, what do you think about the Oniric Glow Generator so far? Are you impressed? I am. So, this right here is the Oniric Dashboard. If you're not satisfied with the generated glow effect, you can always play around with the sliders right here. You can adjust the intensity, radius, threshold, exposure, and light dispersion. And of course, you have the reset button here on the top right corner in case you want to revert to the original glow effect applied. There is also this X-ray view down here, where you can see the targeted areas that will have the glow effect on your image. Anything that's green will apply a glow effect to the image. Then you can move the threshold slider to increase or decrease the areas that you want to apply the glow. Let's click the reset button because I already like the glow effect on its default settings. Then we click the save button right here. Assign a name. And click save. It will lead us back to the Photoshop dashboard. And as you can see, it created a new layer for the glow effect. Let's zoom in. Before. After. I'm really impressed with this plugin. Let's move on to our second example. Again. We simply press the generate button right here. And we're done. I really like the default glow that the plugin applies to the image. Let's go to the X-ray view and check which parts of the image have the glow effect. So, I want these red bokeh balls to glow some more. So we need to increase the threshold until they are highlighted. So, let's go back to the X-ray view, and gradually move the threshold slider to the right. Okay, now we can see that the bokeh balls are highlighted green. Let's see what we got. Before. After. Before. After. Now we have a glow and dreamy look to this image. Let's play around with the light dispersion and set a value of 10. Okay. Now we're getting an RGB split effect here. This is the original image. And this is with the Oniric Glow Generator. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and save this image. By the way, we can always decrease the opacity right over here if we want to. Let's proceed with the next image right here. Again, we click on the generate button. So as you can see, it has applied to glow to the headlights. Let's check the x-ray view. If we don't like the automatic selection, we can always manually mask the areas that we want to apply the glow effect. Let's draw a straight line to the headlights. And this light spill on the top left. Then click apply. So, looks like it didn't do anything. Let's go here above and change the effect to streaks. Okay. Now we can see the effect. We can also adjust the rotation and streak details if we want to. And even the exposure. Okay, I think we're done here so let's save this. Let's try the glow generator on Iron Man, shall we? Okay. Straight out of the box, this looks way cooler than the original image. Let's change the effect to streaks. Okay. I don't like this, so let's reset. Let's try applying our own mask to get the precise glow that we're looking for. Let's draw outlines to the glowing parts of the image. Then click apply. Then we change the effect to streaks. Oh wow. This looks really cool. Let's decrease the exposure a little bit. Okay, this looks good, so let's go ahead and save it. This is the before. And this is with the Oniric plugin. Which do you prefer? The original image, or with the light streaks? Leave a comment down below. And for our last example. A light bulb. Again, we click generate. Before. After. I'm liking this. Let's go to the X-ray view. Here we can see the parts that have the glow effect. Let's change it to streaks. And let's play around with the sliders right here. Let's see what we can come up with. Note that you can do whatever you want with these sliders. Just feel free to use your imagination. I'm liking the default effect so, let's reset and save this image. So, this is what the Oniric Glow Generator plugin can do. Is this something that you would use every day? Probably not. But it's a great addition to your Photoshop arsenal in case that you have images that need a boost of glow for that epic look. I'll post a link down on the description if you want to learn more about this plugin. Please don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you're still not a subscriber. And click on that bell icon to get notified when we post a new video. Thank you for watching.